Welcome to Matters Financial and Geopolitical from the Frontier. I trust you had a great weekend. U.S. equity markets are testing the bullish defense zone. That's according to Peter Brandt. Currency markets lost on their look. Euro 114.27. Dollar index 96.49. Japanese yen 112.44. Swiss franc 0.9881. The pound 127.42. The Australian 0.7214. India rupees 71.275, South Korean 11123, the Rial 390.77, Egyptian pound 17.8385, and the Rand uh, coming straight off that four month high now at 14.14. This is a trade weighted US dollar index. Take a look. The dollar index itself is at 96.49. I'm looking for it to go to 100. Euro dollar 114.27. Very interesting two headed piece. One is in the MIT Technology Review. Machine learning identifies cryptocurrency scams before they happen. Spectacular rise and fall of cryptocurrencies, along with the supposed anonymity they offer, has unsurprisingly attracted criminals. The story of cryptocurrencies is littered with thefts, Ponzi schemes, and other unlawful activities. This work is of Jia Hua Zhu and Benjamin Lishwitz at Imperial College London. First, some background. Pump and dump schemes are a well-known ruse in conventional commodity trading markets, but have only recently become common in cryptocurrencies. The organizer begins by selecting an obscure cryptocurrency and quietly starts accumulating it. Researchers focused on a single pump and dump scheme that took place in November 2018. They glean the details by recording announcements over several telegram channels, the largest being official McAfee pump signals which is over 12,000 members. They then recorded the price changes and trading volumes of the selected currency. Official McAfee pump signals reveal the cho chosen coin, a little known cryptocurrency called BVB, which had been created in 2016 by supporters of Borussia Dortmund. However, the coin had been dormant for over a year with little trading activity and a value of about 35 sat. Then things started happening quickly. We noticed that the first buy order was placed and completed within one second after the first coin announcement. After a mere 18 seconds of a manic buying wave, the coin price had already skyrocketed to its peak. That's when it reached 115 sat. Not all the Telegram, chan telegram channels reacted so quickly. Anybody following Bomber Bitcoin Cryptopia was at a significant disadvantage since his channel announced the pump at 1930.23. Note that Bomber Coin Bitcoin Cryptopia only announced the coin at the time when the coin price was already at its peak, making it impossible for investors who solely relied on their announcement to make any money. Three and a half minutes after the start of the pump and dumped, the coin price dropped below its open price. Reveal interesting details about the event. Anybody who joined the activity more than 18 seconds after it started had little hope of making a profit. And then I discovered the actual abstract um, uh, by the writers, the not anatomy of a cryptocurrency pump and dump scheme, Imperial College. Our analysis shows that pump and dump activities are a lot more prevalent than previously believed. Specifically, around 100 organized telegram pump and dump channels coordinate on average two pumps a day, which generates an aggregate artificial trading volume of $7 million a month. They developed a predictor that, given a pre pump announcement, can predict the likelihood of each coin being pumped with an area under curve of over 0 0.9, both in sample and out of sample. The models confirm that market movements contain hidden information that can be utilized for monetary purposes. Based on this, we formulate a simple trading strategy that, based on historical data, gives us a return of 80% over a period of three weeks, even under strict assumptions. Well worth reading.
Let's move on. Commodity markets. Gold broke through that important resistance level of 1242. Last time I looked, it was at 1249.20. Brent crude, last time I checked, $61.92. Bloomberg has a fascinating article saying the go-go days of the 1970s oil boom, the AAA credit rating, the imported sports cars, the one-day shopping trips to Miami, where we accept Bolivar signs hung in store windows has long since passed. The hangover had set in Venezuela. EMFX appears to be in the latter stages of ending its counter-trend rally, which would be complete by the end of January 2019.